Yesterday's video, after the massive tech rally where the NASDAQ was up roughly 4%, we advised not to sleep on the stuff that was down on the day. And that the stuff that was down on the day actually is a very good area to be buying. And today we saw that area outperforming. The NASDAQ was just closed slightly down while the Dow was up over 1%. And the Dow represents a lot of value names. Yes, you have stuff like Apple in there, but you've got a lot of energy companies as well. And another thing we referenced was going back to the turn of the new year, because clearly there has been some sort of theme change in 2021. And if you saw my Instagram videos before I got canceled, that were on Instagram around the turn of the new year, you saw I had outlined my 2021 story areas and stocks that people should be looking at. And those were real estate, energy, and gold miners. We are continuing to see real estate and energy perform very well today. Look at something like energy transfer up over 5%. And I would continue to advise to buy these areas of the market. They're still very well priced and haven't seen ridiculous runs and present very good buying opportunities. Now, Tech, I believe, has seen, obviously, a fantastic one-year run. And I'm not saying it's going to continue to sell off from here, but the gains are going to be muted compared to what we've seen. It seems like we've had a strong rebound in a lot of the tech stocks. They've had some sort of, you know, local top that is going to last for some reasonably long period of time. And it's going to be some sort of reasonably long period of time that they just slowly churn along up this way. Obviously, you can make good tech calls in this space that will significantly outperform the market. And if you know those stocks, I advise you to do so. I would also advise you to take a look at the CRISPR space, because I think that is one of the areas of tech that will continue to outperform. But the rest of tech, I'm not so sure about. Let's not forget, the reason why tech seemed to sell off so much was because bond yields were increasing. This makes bond yields a more attractive investment, considering tech is, you know, factoring in so much future cash flows. Bond yields are bringing the cash flows right now. And I expect bond yields to continue ticking up because I'm concerned about inflation. And I believe inflation is going to certainly be a, a thing, especially now after another $1.9 trillion is being dumped into the market. But there are some areas of the market that benefit from inflation. Things like real estate, as there's more money in the system, the value of real estate increases because it's all relative to the dollar. It's a physical asset. And the rents and income that these real estates receive will go up and likely the dividends they pay out will go up as well. The same thing is true of energy, but energy also has structural changes that are happening. The Biden administration is not too fond of natural gas and you know fossil fuels, etc. So I expect that to have some sort of effect on energy prices, which we've already begun to see. So I would definitely want to own a stock in the energy space that makes money selling energy and has been hated on by the market as the market has become more narrative and moral focused recently since the pandemic begun and has ignored energy. I would take advantage of that price difference. And uh, that's something that's been going on for a while. If you look at the energy stocks, they've not really been going up for several years. But let me tell you, I expect to be using fossil fuels for several years. And ask Elon Musk, it's likely going to be the case. So I would definitely, you know, take the morality out of your investment game. You know, I don't do that kind of thing. I just look for the most return. And... Uh, I'm finding it in energy and believe it will continue to be in energy and other cyclical areas, real estate as well. So yes, if you have a good tech name, I would definitely buy that as long as it's well-priced. It's got to have a whole lot of future growth for sure. But I would definitely look at stuff that is highly inflation correlated because I expect that to continue and I expect bond yields to rise even though I don't really even care about that story. But I do care about energy and real estate and I want you to have some. So until next time, peace out.